All right, so we've discussed the different ways that you can sell your home and then what type of agents you can use if you go with an iBuyer, part-time agent, professional agent. Um, we also discussed different marketing strategies that are there to um, unload your property. Now it's time to start talking about getting your home show ready. So uh, obviously presentation is everything. Um, when somebody walks into your home or whether it's even just pictures that you've taken of your home or um, a showcase video, we want to make sure this house looks good because that's what they're going to remember. Um, out of every single house that a person walks through, which there may be, I've had sometimes where we've gone and seen 15 homes over a weekend, right? So um, you want your home to be the one that they remember and that they eventually put an offer on. So um, what are some things that we need to make sure we have to do in order to get a show ready? Um, first thing is you want to, um, one, have your realtor come out there, take a look and see what's going on with the property, right? Is it show ready already? Or is it in shambles? Should you be on hoarders, right? So um, that brings me to the decluttering. If you have tons and tons of items, you've got rooms packed with a lot of different stuff, let's get rid of it, get it out of there. You don't have to throw it away. Um, you can always get a storage area, but um, don't have stuff all over the house, right? If it feels like when you walk in there, the walls are closing in around you, let's start getting rid of some personal items. Um, sometimes furniture can make a room feel very, very small. Um, the other thing is, and I already mentioned it, personal items. If you have tons of pictures of your family, I know you love your family, I love your family, but it makes it a little weird when somebody walks into a home, they can't feel like it's theirs if there's pictures of your entire family there. So let's get rid of those personal items. You can always put them back after the open house or after the showings, but if you've got a ton of pictures on the walls or letters, bills laying around, let's move those out. We want this place as cleared out as possible. That way it's a blank canvas. Um, the other big thing is to look at um, what repairs or renovations may need to be done. Um, I always try to avoid repairs and renovations just because it's expensive, right? And do you really want to fix up this home, put a bunch of work into it, and then get rid of it and hope that that increases the property value. There may be people that love this property just as it is, or let's say you have dark countertops or you know dark cabinets, right? And everyone wants white cabinets now. Well, that trend may fade out and you've just spent 15, $20,000 to redo these cabinets because you think it's gonna help the home sell. Um, there's ways around that. You can do virtual renovations where we've prepped the client before they even come to the open house with um, what's called, it's basically just another photo. It's a digital rendering where we take a picture of this room and then we send it over to our digital team and then they show what it would look like if the cabinets were changed or if the whole house was painted or if we switched from carpet to wood floors. Um, and then it says, virtual renovation, right? Or potential renovation. And it gives an idea of what the cost would be for that too. If we were to paint the whole thing, this is the cost with it. But it gives the uh, buyer an idea of what it could look like. That way you don't have to spend 15, $20,000 to do this, but you can actually show them for free. This is part of the service that we give what it would look like if they did do this, or if they wanted to change this, or change this, or change this. So um, that's a really good way of getting around the renovations. When it comes to repairs, if your heat's messed up, or you've got you know a water leak or anything like that, obviously we wanna take care of those items um, because that's really gonna hurt you when you get to the point of inspections and they have to do renegotiations. And we're gonna have um, an entire video on inspections, but um, the key is, um, make sure your repairs are taken care of, renovations you don't necessarily need to do, get the clutter out of the house, depersonalize it. But the other big thing is smell and lighting, right? Um, if you've got old light bulbs that are very dim, you want to replace those, brighten up that entire house. When you walk in there, you want everything to be bright. So replace those light bulbs and then um, homes come with smells, unfortunately, if you have, especially if you have pets. So 
throw in one of those little air fresheners. You don't have to spray a ton of Febreze beforehand. You just throw a couple of those air fresheners into the wall sockets and then that place is gonna smell great, right? So a um, couple little tips for being able to get your home show ready. Also make sure it's clean, right? So if you need to vacuum daily or right before the open house, Let's just get that place looking as great as possible and then continue to maintain that so you don't have to go back and do a full deep clean. If you're picking up after yourself, putting things in bins is another thing. So if you have, let's say you do have a, a daughter, right? She's a teenager and she's got every makeup product, every hair product you could think of. Well, give her a bin, put her name on it if you need to, and whenever she's done using all of her stuff, instead of having it across the counter, throw it in that bin, hide it, put it in the closet. Most people aren't even gonna look in the closets. So just get those personal items out of there, make that place look as clean and open as possible so it's a fresh canvas, and then your buyer can visualize themselves and what they would do when they purchase that property. All right, so if you enjoyed our content and it was useful, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe down below. Or if you're looking to buy, sell, or refinance, make sure to reach out to us. You can give us a call. You can send us an email. You can even send me a text message. All of our information is in the description. Look forward to hearing from you.